Hey guys, Pat here from Rain Country. God is good all the time, and patience is a virtue. <laughs> We've been looking for a while for one of these shipping containers, and one came up here in town for sale. So we went ahead and picked it up. Now I'm figuring out how to fool around and get the thing loaded on my truck and trailer and get it moved. So today's a little bit of brainstorming. And so I thought I would take you along on a process. Maybe it would help you guys out in, uh, if you guys ever did something like this, moving something heavy. So today we have a kind of a narrow alley we got to work in. It's a 10 foot by 10 foot, brand new, other, well, eight, eight, year, eight months old. And the gentleman is moving, so he put it up on Facebook Marketplace and, and is selling it. If I can move it myself, I save myself a bunch of money. And so my mission right now is to take this one corner and pull the dry box, just slide it so it's in an angle. The reason for that is I could back my truck and trailer in here a little more easily to pull it up on the equipment trailer and uh, have a little better angle. This is a little narrow alleyway. I could probably do it with it sitting the way it is, but as you can see, the alleyway here is, it's, here's in between two buildings, it's not even a road, but backing up this alley, and then, you know, com coming in to this, that narrow area over there, and then backing the truck and trailer back in here to where I can get a straight on shot the box coming up on the equipment trailer would be kind of tricky so what I want to do is I want to turn it my mission is to see if I can get this jacked up a little bit so I can run some 4x6's underneath here so I can just slide that up on the trailer with a, a winch. It's a 9,000 pound winch as you can see the, the tear weight uh, on this shipping container is 2755 pounds that's how much it weighs uh, without anything in it so I'll take, take and show you what the inside looks like. It, like I said, it's only eight months old. It's brand new. So the doors are open, the doors open pretty nice. They're easy, easy to open. It's not all bent out. Doing this one-handed. I mean, the floor is brand new. And the gentleman gave me these shelves to go with it. So that's kind of nice. Got some two by tens here. So the real nice thing is that it's really dry in here. It's not, it doesn't have any condensation in it at all. And it's the middle of January and we've had a lot of rain this month. So i um, really happy with it. And I can still smell the fur. It, everything smells brand new in here. It's got venting up above, up in the corners. All brand new seals in it, of course. Okay, the first thing I'm going to try is just obviously taking a long chain. This is one of the chains for my equipment trailer, and I just looped it around in these lifting points here. There's some on the bottom, and there's also some on the top. Looped the chain around, took all the slack out, and flattened the spot right in the center, right below the doors where the doors come together and so then I got this as tight as I can get it and I got a 20 ton jack again this is uh, 2755 pounds of uh, tear weight so I should be able to lift this and the point is to try to lift the front up to where I can get some 4x6's in the two corners and then lay them on my equipment trailer and pull the thing up the equipment trailer without causing too awful much damage to the driveway and we'll have to come back and break this out for this gentleman I got it spun around to where it's a little more accessible at a 45 degree angle to the alley so I uh, should be able to have a pretty good shot to 
to the road out there. Now this block here, I took a Forsner bit and cut a two inch hole in here uh, in the block so it wouldn't, wouldn't slide off. Now the chain, my um, theorized it should bite into the wood, hopefully without splitting it. This piece of wood here, this block here is uh, made out of a piece of burl so the grains go all over the place, they're not straight grains so hopefully it won't split on me. At least that's the plan. And I'm trying to keep it away from anything that it might bend. I, I don't think it'll bend any of this stuff. We're so close to a to a bracket here. So all those things considered, I think I'm in good shape. Now I've got three points of, of contact on the ground. I have the front here, and then I have the back. If this is the center, it shouldn't affect the balance too awful much. Seems to be working pretty good. Now I'll take, take the jack up as high as it'll go, brace it, and then re-block the jack and jack it up some more. Now I'm at the end of the limit for the jack, so I'm going to go ahead and block up what I can here and ease the jack back down, put blocks under the jack or, or wheel the secondary. Uh, you, can, you can spin you can spin the inside of this jack up to get you some more elevation, but I think I'll just go ahead and use blocking. It'll be a little more, a little more secure. Okay, now I'll let the jack back down. Put another piece of wood underneath here. I get a little more lift on the storage container. You got a little more blocking on the each corner. I'll let the jack down and try it again. I have a I have a floor jack I think I might put in here. And that will free me up a couple more blocks. I should have two more blocks in the pickup. I can just run run uh, back home and get some more. But I'm gonna get this jacked up as high as I can get it for now and go home and get some more blocking. I'll remove this. That worked pretty well I might add. Now I have a couple more blocks for each end. Now the block of wood keeps the chain from slipping off the jack. So I'm going to pull the slack out a little more. One thing that I like to make sure that I do is make sure that everything is is centered as much as I can get centered and that's with the block here centered over top of the lifting pad on the jack the jack centered between the two points of lifting which are these two corners I'm a little apprehensive on sticking the jack underneath the frame of the shipping container it probably wouldn't hurt it any you know it looks like it's pretty s stiff uh, channel line underneath there but I just uh, I'd just rather not take any chances so I'll continue lifting like this and I keep jacking it up okay we're back um, I got a game plan I got my my winch uh, mounted a little winch skid 4x6 is lined up for to slide the shipping container on. I got a couple of firewood rounds uh, ready to kind of roll to take up, take up the back of the uh, shipping container. So there's any of that weight that's 3,000 pounds, between 700 pounds of weight. 
and so it should slide up there relatively painlessly. So we'll go ahead and get the winch set up and uh, see if we can winch this thing on. guys my winch failed I'm not I'm thinking it's the motor went haywire it was running fine motor wasn't getting hot or anything but it just gave out so I had to run down to store and do it the old-fashioned way and get a uh, four ton come along so it's coming up inch by inch so when all else fails, go to plan B. I've had this old uh, come along for years. And it looks like it's just, just about ready to give up. So I went, and got, went ahead and got a, a more robust one. And so it's coming right up now. You know, my winch jig, or my winch skid, isn't totally useless. <laughs> As you can see, I have the come along hooked up to it with a shackle and then a chain that runs back to the shipping container. So inch by inch, we're, we're making a go of it. got it all buttoned down this keeps box from sliding back and forth that's just an extra precaution I really didn't need that because I have these cross chains and uh, I have binders on the back side so there these are secure but uh, the reason you cross tie those and pull forward is it pulls one chain will pull to that corner and the other chain will pull to this corner and so it's, it's basically cross tied and it can't go anywhere. But uh, I just put these little yellow straps on there just for another added security. Did likewise on the back. I gotta come back and rake out the gentleman's driveway because I messed it up a little bit. That won't be too bad. I'll come back tomorrow and take care of that. If you guys uh, decide to move one of these, uh, this might give you some tips to uh, help augment in your adventures. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.